Okay, these are going to be the last two uh, problems for my review problems for calculus worksheet. Again, you know, these problems I think would also be good review problems if you just do the algebra section for algebra. They're also at the end of a, a pre-calculus course. So, I mean, that's all that's in here is basically algebra and pre-calculus stuff. So, okay, 84, we've got sine x equals tangent x. I'm going to start off by writing tangent x as sine x over cosine x. And just like we've been saying, make one side of the equation 0. So I'm going to subtract the sine x over cosine x from both sides. And again, we just factor. So we could factor out sine x. We would have 1 minus 1 over cosine x equals 0. Well, that tells me that sine x either has to equal 0 or 1 minus 1 over cosine x has to equal 0. Well, it's probably easy to see that cosine x has to equal 1 because you'd have 1 minus 1 over 1 would give you 0. If you didn't see that, you could always just add the 1 over cosine x to both sides. And you could cross multiply, so you'd have cosine x equals 1. So let's see, sine of x, that's the y value on the unit circle. Um, the y value is going to be 0 when the angle is 0 and also at pi. Cosine is going to equal 1 at the angle, I, oops, I almost left out, and also at 2 pi. Hope I didn't leave out 2 pi in some of the other examples. Um, I don't think I did. Um, so, so at 0 pi and 2 pi, that's where sine is going to equal 0. Cosine of x is going to equal 1 at the angle 0 and also at 2 pi. But those are redundant. We've already got those solutions. So the solutions will be x equals 0 when x equals 0, pi, or 2 pi. Okay, 85, last but not least, we've got 2 plus cosine of 2x equals 3 times cosine x. Now, I'm going to use a trig identity again here. There's two identities for cosine of 2x that you should know. There's 2 cosine squared x minus 1, and also 1 minus 2 times sine squared x. Since my term on the right side involves cosine x, I'm going to use the identity that also involves cosine. So I'm going to have 2 plus, well, instead of cosine 2x, I'm going to have 2 times cosine squared x minus 1. That equals 3 times cosine x. All right, so I'm going to make the right side of my equation equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 3 cosine x from both sides. And then we have 2 minus 1, whoops, which will give us positive 1. We've got 0 on the right side. And hopefully this factors. We've got 2 times cosine x. Let's see, I guess we would need a minus 1 and a minus 1. So that'll give us a positive 1 when we multiply, but we'll get our minus 3 cosine x back. Almost done. So from the first factor, if we set that equal to 0, we'll get cosine x equals 1 half. From the second one, we'll get cosine x equals 1. Well, again, in terms of the unit circle, um, we said cosine of x equals 1 at the angles 0 and 2 pi radians. Cosine of x is going to equal 1 half. Let's see, cosine is going to equal 1 half at the angle pi over 3. That'll be our solution in the first quadrant. And then also down in the fourth quadrant, that's going to be at 5 pi over 3. And those will be our four solutions. So, all right, um, all finished with the, the solutions to the worksheet. Again, a lot of these problems weren't the hardest in the world, but hopefully they jog your memory because, you know, the procedures stay the same. If you had a lot of prob issues with these problems, um, you know, you forgot the algebra or the trig, one of two things, I would definitely brush up, or, you know, you may even consider taking pre-calculus again instead of jumping right into calculus because, most everything you do in calculus, it's going to be one or two calculus steps, and then it's just going to turn into all this algebra and trigonometry to actually solve the problem. It's not the calculus that gets people. It's the, the prerequisites that people forget that makes it difficult, I think at least in a Calc 1 class. So, all right, I hope these help. Um, good luck. Feel free to check out the worksheet. Um, again, there'll be a link in the comment section. 
and good luck in your calculus uh, endeavors. Hopefully the course goes well. It's fascinating stuff. It's not the easiest stuff in the world, but like many things, you know, a lot of the things worth knowing or, or, or that are really interesting, they are, they're challenging. So uh, don't get discouraged. Um, you know, if you forget stuff, review, talk to your professors, talk to friends, get some help. Uh, and, and again, there's just so much to know. And if you forget one little thing, it's easy to get stumped. So, so don't feel like you've got to get everything perfectly, but, um, definitely realize that it's a challenging class, but again, super rewarding and super awesome stuff.